Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the middle of October 2021. And we're going to take a look at your current general energies in this first row. Then we're going to look at uh, anything unexpected in your second row. And then we're going to look at any advice from your guides in your last row. But uh, Leo, let's see uh, what is going on for you here. For some of you, uh, this definitely does look like some sort of truth coming out here, uh, plain and simple, because um, you have this why card here, which is like asking why, and you have the five of swords, eight of wands, and the judgment card. Literally could be someone coming in from the past to communicate, and then you have this truth card here. So on a very simple level, on a very surface level, I feel like this could be some sort of, some person, you know, coming in providing closure, um, could just be coming in with the truth in general about what happened in a situation. Uh, you know, I, as I always say, uh, so what? <laughs> it's like, uh, why couldn't someone tell the truth in the first place, right? So uh, like, who cares is what I say. But uh, for some of you, you might want closure, which is fine. And there could be closure coming in. You have this, uh, again, why card here. I, part of me does feel that this is a person coming in and telling the truth. I also feel that this is saying you should be asking why. Seems like a very curious time, you know. Um, even just in a lot of readings I've been doing, I've been noticing that just like all these cards of curiosity and things like that keep coming up. And uh, it definitely shows up here with this why card. And you have the judgment card as well. The judgment card can say there's like a deeper meaning uh, to something. It is like, uh, you know, it can represent a wake up call. But, you know, the way to think about it is those people, they're rising out of coffins. You know, it could represent something coming, you know, something coming out that has been hidden. And I don't mean like, you know, you know, I I'm talking about outside of the truth, right? It's like, yes, yeah, we already talked about this. Yes, you could be getting the truth from a person. But it's like sometimes they think maybe if, um, you know, if we really uh, study something, if we really dig into something, we can find some answers that lead to, you know, success, growth, abundance, um, you know, whatever it is that we're looking for. So I feel like kind of like really digging for the truth could be important for you here. And I, again, I'm not talking about like a truth as in something that a person needs to tell you. I'm talking about like getting the, you know, the solid facts on a situation. You have the Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the judgment card, like I said, if someone ran away from you, ghosted you, uh, quit, just up and quit on you, uh, that's, you know, five of swords is my card of someone who just quits. So I feel for some of you, uh, you could have been dealing with that with a person here with the five of swords. My problem with the five of swords in relationships is it can be a person who just walks away um, so they don't get hurt, but they probably weren't going to get hurt in the first place. So it's like, kind of like, you know, a, a, a defeatist type of um, mentality with the five of swords. So I feel like some of you were dealing with that from a person. And, um, you know, what I would say is I feel like you're, they could be coming in and telling you this, but who cares? Uh, for others, I do see this as more socializing. It, um, you know, this really doesn't have to be that big of a deal. I feel like some for some of you, the Five of Swords is just saying for obvious reasons, you haven't been able to socialize. The Eight of Wands can be my card of just socializing, being social, doing things that you want to do. And then you have the Judgment card. So for some of you, I feel like you could be kind of like just socializing here. You have the Wheel of Fortune wanting to pop out there. Um, but the, so I feel like there could be some sort of change. Wheel of Fortune would just be kind of like a change as well. With the Five of Swords, you have the Four of Cups. Again, this is like someone who doesn't get what they want in situations. Four of Cups is uh, having expectations and being disappointed, so, you know, on a, on a very surface level. It's weird. I keep, I feel like I need to say that in your reading, surface level. You could be dealing with a person who's very surface level. They only look at the surface. They don't dig deeper, right? But I feel like that you have dealt with a person maybe in the past who has a lot of expectations, but that's the problem is that they have expectations. The only person they disappoint is themselves. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have you showing up, the Strength card. Uh, power in numbers, Leo, is what I'd say with that Eight of Wands. So I would definitely socialize, and uh, that popped into my head, power in numbers. So I feel like for a lot of you, that could be literally people. For others, I feel like it's like backing things up with with receipts, you know? <laughs> I feel like you have, I feel like the numbers are just the, the proof that you have in a situation. With the judgment card, you have the Hangman here. And yeah, you've been enlightened to something. You know, like I said, 
the judgment card, a, a lot, there's like a lot of this, what I would call dirt energy here, Leo. You know, I always say you have to move a lot of dirt to get to the gold, right? And so with the Y card, I would definitely be curious, anything you're interested in, I would be, you know, taking your time to gain enlightenment with the hangman, you know, especially if you're trying to like grow your business or grow in your career. It's like, yeah, you're gonna have to like move a lot of dirt. You're gonna have to sift through a lot of information. But if you do that, you could discover something that makes you very successful. I always tell a story. It's like, you know, um, like years ago, I did a reading for a person who was trying to sell their house. And, um, you know, there was there was something about this. I don't remember. It was like a while ago now. But uh, there was something about this, about like how some sort of improvement or just learning what people wanted uh, would be very beneficial to them and into to selling their house. And they, like, they couldn't sell their house. They kept having problems. And so uh, in the reading, they had something like this come up where I was like, I, where I was telling this person, I was like, hey, you know, there's something here about you. You needing to like learn about what is working in your area and all this other stuff. And so they contacted someone who said, oh, the, the, there's no landscaping in your front yard. They literally took the plants that were like on the side of their house and they just brought them to the front of their house. Their house sold in like two days. So it's like, you know, I, I, that, I have not told that story in so long, but because that was like when I first started reading on YouTube and practically it was like maybe like a year later. And um, I'm getting that for you here where it's like, I feel like there's something in your life. I'm not saying it's like you selling your house, but I feel like there's something in your life where it's basically asking you to just bring the plants forward. <laughs> I feel like it's saying, you know, if you can just discover, you know, like what people want and if you can present that at the front of something, you're going to be successful. Now, this could be in business. It could be you. Uh, you show up right here, the strength card. It's like maybe if you're having a hard time in love, maybe you're not displaying uh, certain traits inside of you that actually make you very attractive to people, right? So, you know, it could be anything. And again, I feel like you're gonna have to figure it out. I feel like you're gonna have to ask people. You're gonna have to ask outside sources. Um, you know, kind of like, again, that person, they asked people what was wrong. They asked people like, why? what's not interesting about my house? They, I think they asked their friends, they asked a, another realtor friend they had, and they were basically like, it's empty. <laughs> and they fixed it. So boom, and it didn't cost them any money. That's the best part. I feel the same thing with you. It's not gonna cost you any money. Maybe it's gonna cost you a little bit of sweat equity, right? You're gonna have to dig up the plants. But if you do that, uh, very good results. Weird. Again, I haven't told that story in forever. I haven't even thought of that in a very long time. Uh, you start off in the middle row here of the unexpected with the truth. We already talked about this. I feel like there could be some sort of truth coming out here. I also feel like for some of you, like, look, this tree, you know, it's like there's wind, this guy in the clouds, he's like blowing this tree, but that tree looks like it's growing in that shape because it's been shaped by something. I feel like it's kind of like saying the truth will always be the truth. So I feel that for a lot of you, there could be, it's almost like you're being proven right about something here. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, I, I do feel for some of you that this could be saying that you're taking a leap of faith away from something that has always been. Four of Pentacles is something that has always existed. You know, on a very simple level, it can be a card of establishment. And um, it's not necessarily a good thing. You know, he is considered the miser of the tarot, right? He holds on to his money too tightly. He doesn't open up to new opportunities. Mm, but it could also represent a thing in your life. Like maybe you've been at the same job, maybe you've been at the same business or whatever for, you know, a very long period of time. This to me could say that you're starting something new. I also feel like you would be starting something with very pure intentions. Sometimes I think we just need a like a, a mix up. We just need things to be mixed up in our work or our business life so we're not doing the same thing over and over and over again. I kind of feel that for you here. It's like your intentions are more pure is what I'm getting off of this fool card. He has this rose back here. And the rose, the white rose in tarot represents like purity, but I feel like you're coming at something like your business with more, or, you know, whatever you do for a career or work with more pure intentions. I feel like this is going to lead to more success. I also feel like some of you have been thinking about doing something in work or business with the Knight of Pentacles, and I would do it. Knight of Pentacles is like a lot of hesitation, so I feel like there is a need for you to get moving as far as work or business is concerned. Uh, for others... Um, Again, I feel like you're living your truth. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to say this, Leo. Um, but for some of you, it's almost like, mm, you know, at the risk of sounding political, I'm not political. I don't believe in politics at all, period. I don't support any political person at all. Uh, but what I would say is it's kind of like weird. I feel like um, I feel like we're kind of at this point where it's like I feel like everybody believes one thing, um, but they actually 
you know, I think people think that people have certain beliefs, but they actually have other beliefs. Mm, that's what's popping into my head. I don't know why that's important for you, Leo, <laughs> but I feel like the fact of the matter is like whatever you believe is true in life, it's like I feel like more people than you realize are kind of like on your side. Does that make sense? I don't really think it's a side type of thing, and I don't think it's political either. It, you know, I just feel like it's mm, beliefs you have about life or beliefs you have about health or business or whatever. And I feel like you could, it's like you think, you, you have these beliefs that maybe people believe the opposite, but they actually believe what you believe. And why is that important, Leo? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's, let's figure it out and see what is going on for you here. And this card got bent. Um, let's see, why is this important? Uh, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords here, lying, cheating, stealing. Again, definitely could be some sort of truth coming out here. If it's a person, I would be careful that they're still lying. I feel like you're trying to handle a situation with care. You know, Seven of Swords, he's carrying those swords by their tips. As I always say, it represents needing to, um, you know, handle a situation with care. Uh, needing to handle something delicately. So maybe that's why you're moving forward. Maybe you believe, maybe you have a certain belief about work in work or business or whatever, and you want to share it. But again, if you believe that everybody believes the opposite, you could be having a hard time sharing it. So, you know, the Seven of Swords could represent, you know, handling something with care, uh, delivering something m more delicately or thinking about your words. And that's kind of like what I'm getting for you here. With the fooling of the world. So definitely a new beginning. We, with, with the, um, you know, in the tarot, we start with the fool and the major arcana. He goes to the world and then he just starts all over again. It's like you're just starting a new cycle. With the four of pentacles, you have the nine of wands here. Uh, I definitely wouldn't give up at this time. I do feel like some of you have been wounded in relationships or in commitments as well. So, you know, it's like some of you could be, I do get something here about your beliefs about love changing as well. I just wouldn't give up with that nine of wands is what I would say there. Uh, next in the area of messages from your guides, you have the wolf spirit says, turn your knowledge into wisdom. Um, you know, we have knowledge over here with the Y card. Clearly you understand something, but I feel like you're starting to understand something on a much deeper level with the judgment card. And this could represent sharing that wisdom. You have the Queen of Wands here, Page of Wands, and the Knight of Swords here. I've talked about this a lot, Leo. You know, uh, to me, we have Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces, to me, can kind of remove the normal, like, um, check marks, the, the normal milestones. Like, if we're normally with, um, under without Neptune and Pisces, I feel that, like, we'd normally be working towards a goal, and maybe we get certain like clues that we're moving in the right direction. These could be intuitive. We, we could just feel like we're moving in the right direction. Uh, or we could, you know, we there could be milestones. We could be hitting certain things where we're like, okay, I'm moving in the right direction. With, uh, I think Neptune and Pisces kind of makes things a little bit more murky, a little bit more kind of like watery. There are more like ups and downs. Like think about the waves on the ocean, right? And, um, you know, we, we are, we're kind of like past 18 degrees, but we were at 18 degrees and you know, 18 degrees is, is the degree of the devil. And uh, it's no surprise to me that the whole COVID thing happened. I mean, literally, I don't want to say I predicted this, but I predicted it like years ago. And, um, you know, where I talked about how Neptune and Pisces, 18 degrees, I was saying I, like two years ago in videos, over two years ago, that I was worried about it because um, Neptune and Pisces like disease, poison, you know, um, uh, all sorts of stuff, right? Um and so what the hell am I talking about? Well, you have this Queen of Wands here. Uh, Queen of Wands is the only Wands court card that doesn't have salamanders on her cloak. You know, you can see here, he's got salamanders all over his cloak and it represents protection from fire. So it's like she's a fire sign right? Um, this could be your energy, but she's not protected necessarily from fire. So it kind of represents needing to take a risk without um, knowing whether or not you are protected. Well, I would tell you, yes, you have the page of wands. I feel like this is a very deep reading for you, Leo, because it's like really saying to me that the things you're doing now, I feel like you're operating from like a more pure place where especially with the fool card here, where I almost feel like you're not caring what people think <laughs> about like any, any of your beliefs, any of the things that you're doing in your life. Uh, the reason this is a good thing is because I feel like you are kind of like being your true authentic self, you know? And so it's like, because you're operating from a higher vibration, I feel like you're attracting things in your life. 
So what I would say to you is like, you know, don't be afraid to go against the grain at this time. I feel like don't be afraid to share your beliefs. Don't be afraid to speak up. I feel like what you'll find is like people are much more supportive of your beliefs than you realize, or maybe people are much more, are going to be much more supportive of your business, or people are going to be much more supportive of your uh, love life, whatever it is, doesn't matter. And again, I'm not picking a side here either. It doesn't matter what you believe. I feel like as long as you're kind of coming from an authentic um, place here with that Queen of Wands energy is what I would say to you. Uh, Page of Wands is like going on the adventure. I definitely wouldn't rush anything with the Knight of Swords, although, again, I kind of get more of a curious energy off of that Knight of Swords. Uh, where is this crazy reading going, Leo? Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, no longer scared. You know, she's focused on the Pentacle. There's a rabbit right here, and the rabbits on the on the Queen of Pentacles can represent like fears or operating from fear, operating from well, uh, you know, a, a lack mentality. And but she's focused on the Pentacle. She's like she's no no longer afraid. So um, you know, I kind of feel like you're more focused on the right things. With the Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, yep, uh, Nine of Pentacles is a card of like, I feel like you almost see something coming. Remember what I was saying about Neptune and Pisces? It's kind of like murky. You don't really see, but I, I do feel like you see. <laughs> I, I feel like you see perfectly, and I feel like you need to kind of like trust your instincts with the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you. Uh, and with the Knight of Swords here, you have the Fool. Total new beginning coming in for you here. It's like a rebirth reading. This is an extremely powerful reading, Leo. I don't think it's talking about anything. And, uh, but I, I feel like it's talking about nothing and everything at the same time, um, you know, because I feel like it's talking about your whole entire life. But it's almost like a rebirth or it's like you're starting uh, an extremely important cycle. Fool, fool right here. Uh, very powerful. Uh, love it. So let's see here, uh, Leo, what is coming up for you. Uh, we're going to pull three yes or no question cards. We're going to do one, uh, two, and three right here. Uh, feel free to pause the reading if you need time to think your questions. I'm also going to put all three together as well if you don't have questions. Uh, for question number one, uh, I would say yes, justice. I feel like there is balance coming in for you. The truth clearly is coming out here. Uh, for number two, yes, Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor. So definitely could be love coming in for you if you are looking for love. Could be a Libra. I, I feel like you've had Libra for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And for question number three, yes, damn, Leo the Sun. Are you kidding me? So uh, I would definitely say yes. I feel like there's a lot of like abundance and happiness coming in for you here with these cards. So I definitely like to see that. I'm also getting, like, it's almost like you're being, like the truth is setting you free here as well. So I like to see that. But uh, this looks pretty good. So thank you for being here, Leo. Really appreciate it. Um, and definitely enjoy your month.